Today's Bible study is titled, Gain is Loss and Loss is Gain. Often, world think just can't begin to comprehend what we, through study of the Word by the leading of the Spirit, understand from God. Today's scripture reading is such an understanding. But here we see him classify things that appeared to be gain as loss even as dung and things that appeared to be loss as gain. But the gain of Philippians 3 verse 9 literally blows any worldly and religious gain away, for it is the gain of righteousness right standing before God from being found in him in Christ. It is a right standing that is not our own but rather his. In fact, even the path to this right standing is opposite of what so many religious folks believe today. For it is not the right standing that comes from anything that we do rather through the faith of Christ, his faithfulness, his fidelity that took him to the cross bearing the sins of the entire world. It is right standing before God which is of God and by that faith of Christ. Yes, we are saved through his faith and by his grace with belief and personal faith. For by grace are ye saved through faith. And that not of yourselves, it is the gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. Ephesians 2 verses 8 to 9. In him through believing the gospel death, burial and resurrection of Christ. But it is the faith of Christ himself. Example, that which is through the faith of Christ, the righteousness which is of God by faith, that provides right standing before God in simple belief by grace through faith, and this is the greatest gain mankind has ever known or ever will know. Believer, understand true gain. Example, that which is appropriated by simple belief of the gospel 1 Corinthians 15 verses 3 to 4, by grace through faith, and know that this is our faith in his faith, that which is through the faith of Christ in which we are given the righteousness which is of God by faith. Thank you for listening to today's Bible study.